Good evening and welcome to today's little film, uh, our little recipe. And it's a beautiful spring day here in the Cotswolds in England. And if you remember the other day, I um, used my little sous vide machine to cook some confit duck. Now, this is what it looks like after it's been in the, the confit oil on a low heat overnight. I finished it at about 80 degrees for the last hour, having cooked it overnight at 70. That's Celsius, by the way. And um, and you can see that spoonful of duck fat that I put in with it and the rosemary and then the jelly has come out of the goose so the duck I beg your pardon so this is beautifully cooked and actually preserved that would keep on your shelf because it's been done at uh, 190 Fahrenheit and so it's effectively canned um having said that I keep it in the fridge and it'll keep in the fridge like that for ages right what I got to do well I'm going to take these individual ones out of their bags here and I'm just going to ease them out away from their lovely fat. And if I'm careful, there we are. Oh, you beauties. There's one. So I've got my aged brazier here going with a pan on it. And I'm going to put some of this gorgeous, the contents of one of the bags. And that's like duck stock and, oh yeah, duck stock and duck fat. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm putting some... Nice red onion in there. I'm going to give that a good old simmer. To add some olive oil. Yum. This dish is very, very French. This is from sort of the southern part of France. And I'm basically cooking coffee duck with flagellet beans. Now, flagellet beans are these beautiful little green beans, like a bit like cannellini beans, but um, the sort of juvenile green version. And I've also got a load of these beautiful little cherry baby tomatoes here, and I'm going to add them into my ducky, oily, oniony base. And they're gonna start cooking. And they're just gonna start cooking down. It's gonna be a beautiful dish, this very simple. And uh, while there's a cooking, I'm going to pop the duck in the wood fired oven. So this oven's pretty darn hot. It's on ooh, 300 degrees Celsius, which is about seven. Jack Russell. <laughs> they're just they're just terrible dogs. Okay, so now in it goes. Pretty hot. Look at that. It's like Dante's Inferno in that oven. But what a brilliant little piece of equipment this is. And the idea of the very, very hot oven for a short period of time is it will go golden and crispy very fast. Right, now they've cooked down a little bit, softened. I'm not trying to fully cook them. And in go my beans. Love this dish. I really love this dish. Cooking those beans and all I need to do, the beans are already cooked, they're canned beans. And uh, all I need to do is warm them through with this beautiful olive oil and that lovely natural stock and fat from the duck legs. Okay, now I just check my confit duck legs. They look amazing. I'm gonna sprinkle some beautiful sea salt on top, grind a bit of pepper, pop them back in for the final two minutes. Here we go, what an easy dish. In we go with a big handful of flat parsley, the really important bit now is some lemon and it's so fresh and something about the way the lemon interacts with the olive oil and all that ducky goodness now of course i need to season it there we go let's have a look at you my little friend oh hello that is coffee duck so you can see they're mega crispy. Mm. They're gonna fall off the bone. You know they're cooked in the little bag when they when the it shrinks down the leg bone. <coughs> and I'm now gonna let them rest, season my other bit, and then we're gonna serve it up. I'm just gonna make sure it's got plenty of pepper in it. And then I've got a clean spoon, I'm just gonna have a taste for seasoning. In, more salt. Now there's another little finisher here which is this cherry vinegar. It's an amazing condiment. It's like balsamic vinegar but kind of more refined. It's got a beautiful flavour. 
and I'm going to add a little splish of this. And that vinegar will add, I don't know, just a sort of umami-ish finish to this dish. It'll be amazing. So that's cooked. It's beautiful. It's healthy. I'm going to pop it down on the grass here. And if you look at this copper pan down here, I'm going to serve some nice load of our beautiful beans, tomatoes, shallots in there. And here we have the pièce de résistance. Here we are, as simple and pretty as a picture, flagellé beans with like spring flavours, lemon, sherry vinegar and perfectly confit duck. What a delicious dinner and oh, in fact we're going to sit and eat it out here tonight. Now for me Provençal rosé is the only rosé I really really love. It's got this incredible pale 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 pink and that's called pelure d'oignon or it's supposed to be the colour of the inner skin of an onion. Very pretty way of saying it. I'm going to Oh, just lay it down. I'm going to then take a piece of this because the one in the copper pan is for my lovely wife, Claude. Me, lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Look, 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 look the way that goes apart. And I'm going to have that with some of this. <sighs> Wowzers. It's so soft. It's so delicious. You can use wild duck legs the same way, wild goose legs the same way, because that slow overnight cooking in the confit oil doesn't let them dry out, keeps them full of juice and fat. And look at the result. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. It's going to be fun. Cheers. See you tomorrow.